that the one thing for me that's the the key to unlocking unlocking graduate outcomes for universities and successful recruitment and appointment for employers this year is about geotargeting mm. and looking at both home location and study location as part of any recruitment process and marketing and attraction campaign. Um, that is, and I think will continue to be for some time for the remainder of this year, a, an absolutely crunch issue. So, mm. for example, um, in most regions in the UK, when you look at graduate outcomes for uh, graduates from the institutions within that region, they perform better than graduates who have, are from that region but have come back from elsewhere, from a different hmm. region where they studied. So let's say I, you know, I grew up in South Yorkshire. I went away down to Birmingham for university and I came back to South Yorkshire. I'm less likely to have a really positive outcome from my degree. Um, and, of course, this year I'm more likely to have spent more time in South Yorkshire than in Birmingham as well by the time I graduate too. Yeah. The chances of me having, A, the finances, because I'm unlikely to be able to have a part-time job, or the inclination or desire to want to move to a completely different city or location are very slim indeed, unless I happen yep. to be affluent and well-connected, which is a you know tiny proportion of the market that most of us are trying to move away from, from a DNI yeah. perspective. So I think for me, linking where you're trying to hire and where your opportunities are to where students live and having a very clever geo-targeted attraction strategy, which talks about location as a key variable mm. is absolutely fundamental to getting your offer accepted and people staying in role, particularly this year. Um, and from a university's perspective, I think looking at those students who are leaving your region to go home as a particularly vulnerable group that requires support and connecting them to opportunity in their home region is key to unlocking graduate outcomes this year. Absolutely yep. key. So many universities will be collaborating on regional internship schemes, graduate internship schemes in their local area. That's no use nor ornament to a graduate who's moving 100 miles away. None whatsoever. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. They need to know about opportunities all over the country. So allowing your students to find, to discover, to connect to opportunities that are in the area where they have grown up, where they're probably living at the moment, um, I think is key for, for universities to be able to connect them into that opportunity. I think there's great opportunity for sectoral collaboration there, but also for clever use of platforms where students can access multiple opportunities, not just the ones that their universities are providing to them. Um, and as I say, on the employer side of things, acknowledging and recognising that this year location, location is always a pain if you want to recruit <laughs> outside of London, you know, recruiting into the Isle of Wight or Wigan and Plymouth or wherever is always much more challenging. This year, even more so, even more so. Yeah. So connecting in not just to the universities in that region, but to the graduates who are still living in that region currently because they're probably not away at university. Mm. That for me is, is, is the one thing.